Lots of fun stuff to do other than just drink whiskey. You can. Get bound by a train. <laughs> All right, so uh, our list compiles of seven different things you can do all around Kansas City. Some of them are kid friendly, some of them are not. These are a lot of the like classics, right? Things like that have big been around, items. been around for a long time. Yeah. There's a ton of great stuff coming to Kansas City. Mm -hmm. We'll probably do a video about that. Yep. But these are kind of like top of the list, what we're known Staples. for. Staples. Yeah, yes. things you should definitely check out. Yeah, so number one on our list is Union Station. Um, Union Station, has a ton of different options, things to do. It's just massive. So they've got Science City, which is great for kids. Mm -hmm. I actually enjoy it as well because I'm a nerd and, and a kid. So Science City is a uh, great place to check out. They have a planetarium. Mm -hmm. um, you can go in and look at some stars. They have a model train gallery. There's a theater in there. They do different exhibits. Depending on the exhibit, they're typically three to six month exhibits. Mm -hmm. So they're like, rotating exhibits. They've recently done the Holocaust. Um, they've done Spider-Man, dinosaurs, um, really just all different types of things. So that's always cool. It's always something new to go back to Union Station for. We've got Rocky Mountain chocolate ice cream. ice cream. And then yes, Pierpont's is a high-end restaurant, fine dining. Go to Pierpont's and get the smoked grapes. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds odd. We thought it was odd. They're fantastic. They're awesome. Yes. So this is more of a high-end restaurant, date night, anniversary, big, bigger event type restaurant. And then of course, Harvey's, which is a coffee shop. Yeah, yeah. A historic train station building. Still operates as a train station, but they've obviously modernized it. Mm -hmm. The building itself is super cool. Incredible architecture. They don't build things like that anymore. No. And Union Station has really become the central hub for um, events and things like that in Kansas City, right? So the Super Bowl parade, uh, yep. the ceremony was held right there at Union Station. We have same thing with the World Series parades. Same thing with the World Series parade. Uh, the NFL draft that is coming up, well, when we're filming this, it's coming up. By the time this is out, it probably, probably happened. happened. Yep. Right outside there at Union Station, a central hub for everything that's going on right here in Kansas City. Yeah, so, and the other cool thing about Union Station is it doesn't, necessarily cost to like go to Union Station. Right. Just yeah. the all the amenities are what cost. So you can go into Union Station and walk around and it not cost you anything. And Union Station is also wonderful during Christmas time. If you want to know what that looks like, mm -hmm. check out our previous video. We do a complete tour of Union Station during Christmas time. All right, let's check out our place number two. All right, so number two on our list is Boulevard Brewing Company. We've already done a video on just Boulevard. Yep. Uh, you should Definitely go back and check out that video. Uh, it was pretty in-depth. Boulevard is kind of the top dog, kingpin uh, beer company here in Kansas City. For the longest time, it was really only a Kansas City beer, but now it's all over the country yeah. and actually all over the world. So you may have seen it in, in your local bar or liquor store. The brewery is still a fully functional, impressive operation. You can go do tours. They were impressive in and of itself. Yes. They have a full-blown bar and restaurant in there. Um, you can rent it out for corporate events, and uh, it's a huge campus, so it was a very, very cool thing to go do. You could spend an entire afternoon there, an entire Saturday there, yeah. or you can just pop in for a quick little tour. Yep. Uh, if you want to know more about that tour or what it looks like, you can also check out our previous video of us doing the tour um, and get some fun facts about Boulevard Brewery. All right, number three on our list is a very kid-friendly, kid-centric thing to go do, and that is to go check out the Kansas City Zoo. Yes. Um, I think we have a pretty great zoo. Very spread out. A lot of walking. Yeah, make sure you got your walking shoes on. Uh, if you've got kids, you should probably bring a stroller or rent a stroller. They have them there. But you can go explore all different types of animals. They kind of have different sections based on what region of the world. Yep. Right? So you can go all the way out to Africa and see African giraffes, animals, giraffes and rhinos. Or else is in Africa. Australia. Kangaroos. Kangaroos. That's right. They Koala bears. Those. Yep. More new, uh, popular parts of the zoo is the penguin exhibit hmm. that they've had Neat. for, I don't know, 10 years or so. 
They've got a stingray exhibit, but that's super cool because you can, yeah, you can you reach can in them. there and pet them. Mm -hmm. But one of the big things that's about to happen here at the Kansas City Zoo is that we're getting a brand new state-of-the-art aquarium. It's supposed to be one of the biggest ones in the country, and it is almost done. It should be open here by the end of uh, summer, going into fall. They're saying September, but you never know. Yeah. It's going to be huge. They're going to have six different zones that we'll talk about different parts of the ocean, you know, the deep ocean, the coral reefs, the bay areas. They'll have 34 different exhibits, and it will be over 650,000 gallons of water. Seems like a lot of water. Seems like a lot of water. I hope they don't leak. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure it is just going to be packed as soon as that thing opens. I'm sure our kids are going to love going to check out the aquarium. Yeah. Kansas City has an aquarium. It's a much smaller scale. It's an indoor thing. Yeah. I'm sure this is going to blow it out of the water. The other cool thing about the zoo is if you're a frequent flyer of the zoo, um, you can get the annual pass. So it makes it to where like going to the zoo is next to nothing. And the Kansas City Zoo is also in Jackson County on the Missouri side. So if you're a resident of Jackson County, um, you get a little discount there as well. Uh, and then for the adults, um, actually in the same parking lot as the zoo is Starlight Theater. Hmm. And so Starlight does um, different concerts and plays, but a smaller outdoor uh, intimate venue. Great place to take the kids. Definitely go check it out. Um, great way to get your kids to burn off some energy yeah, with lots that's of right. walking and cool animals to see. So yeah. go check that out. All right, so next on our list is the Nelson Atkins Museum, and this is located near the Country Club Plaza, just east of it. And this is a wonderful, wonderful art museum, but it has way more than just an art museum. So they've got, like in the summer, they do like a small mini golf, like putt-putt place on the front lawn. Um, there's a little like bistro or um, cafe also right there at the Nelson Atkins. So there's tons of things to do. You can go to the Nelson Atkins and, and I have to look at art. So fun fact, the Nelson Atkins Museum and the Philadelphia Museum of Art made a Super Bowl bet. And now a piece of the Philadelphia Museum of Art is coming to the Nelson Atkins to be on display since we won. We got a lot of cool things. Didn't the mayors like trade out barbecue or something? Yeah, like that? which, you know, it's always, we always win that, so. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, another fun fact, in the front lawn, one of the Nelson Atkins is just as famous as the Nelson Atkins itself. Yes. Um, very photogenic. Yep. If you look up Kansas City on Google, you're bound to find a picture of the front lawn of the Nelson Atkins. They have the large uh, sculptures of the shuttlecocks, yep. the birdies that you play badminton with. It's actually in the logo of our YouTube channel. That actually was inspired from a competition that was put out in, I think, the mid-90s and the husband and wife artist team took an aerial shot of Nelson Atkins, the grounds there, and they saw the front lawn and kind of the back courtyard area and kind of envisioned it as a badminton court where the Nelson mm. Atkins building was the net. And so they built the sculptures, the way they're kind of positioned is as if they're playing. hit it over yeah. and it landed there. So that's kind of the backstory on that. I don't know as though even a lot of people from Kansas City really understand the shuttlecocks. Yeah, I never did, but it's become like a staple symbol of Kansas City. Yeah. Like if you see a shuttlecock, it's like, oh, Kansas City. People put it on t-shirts, they yeah. put it on bumper stickers, everywhere. Some guys put it on their YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was kind of a little fun fact, a little Freilich fun fact. Yeah. That stole from you. So Nelson Atkins, if you've never been to an art museum, well, the first time I went, I was like, what am I doing here? This isn't for me. And I had an absolute blast. Like it was cool to learn the history behind the art and why this art is the way it is versus different other types of art. So go with an open mind, check out an art museum and just see what kind of history comes up. It's a very complete collection of art. I mean, Absolutely. from all over the world, African art, ancient Greek art, old American art. They even have the new block building that is right next door to the original Nelson Atkins building. Um, that's more of your contemporary stuff. Mm -hmm. The building itself is very modern and contemporary. Right. Definitely go check that out. If you want to pay a pretty penny, you can also have your wedding at the Nelson Atkins. <laughs> uh, I've seen photos. It's incredible. So number five on our list is another adult special type place. We're going to be doing some consuming of adult beverages, mm -hmm. and that is the Jay Rieger's Tour. Distilleries and breweries are popping up all over the place. A very trendy thing to be going on right now. But Jay Rieger's is special because it has a ton of historical ties to Kansas City and the growth of Kansas City. They go all over that in their tour. Yes. And uh, I had no idea, but it was very, very cool. And their building itself is very state of the art. Kind of a quick little history. The building that it's in used to be a brewery, a bottling plant yep. for a company here in Kansas City. 
that eventually shipped back to St. Louis. Um, not Budweiser. Not Budweiser. Jay Riegers at the time used to be over in the West Bottoms, mm -hmm. and West Bottoms used to flood all the time. They shut that operation down. Decades go by, and the great grandson of the original John Rieger, Jack Rieger from the 1800s was tracked down um, because of this building and that kind of lit a fire under him to really reinvigorate the Riegers brand mm -hmm. and they have put it together and it is incredible. So go check that out. So the other cool thing about Downtown Lee Summit is we have trains. <laughs> and it is right <laughs> there, right behind you. So honorable mention to Conrad's again. Uh, we're filming this at Conrad's. Conrad's is kind of a uh, train station vibe because of that. It is right there. We love uh, lunch here because they have great chicken nuggets, great french fries, and massive windows out front to go watch the train. Watch the train. And I'm sure it's going to be an extra long train. Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, XL train. So the other cool thing is you can take the train from here. Amtrak stops right here in downtown Lee Summit. So if that's something you want to do, take it from here. I know some friends, family friends, every Thanksgiving night, after they've had their Thanksgiving meal, they, they live here in Lee Summit. They come down here, hop on Amtrak, ride it to Union Station, do the Christmas thing, uh, do the plaza lighting, because it always happens on Thanksgiving night. Yep. They rent a hotel in downtown Kansas City, stay the night there, and then wake up and come back. They take the train back? Yep. Interesting. Kind of, kind of a cool little tradition. Yeah. Anyways, back to Riegers. Super cool, rich history um, about the Riegers, and it is quite the operation. But the location itself, there's more to do than just go drink whiskey and do a tour. Yeah. They've got a speakeasy there called the Hey Hey Club. They've got a restaurant lounge called the Monogram Lounge. They have Electric Park, which is a throwback to an old amusement park that used to be in the East Bottoms. But it's now like an outdoor courtyard patio area where they do concerts and outside. Yep. Um, definitely worth checking out. All right, so next on our list is the Negro League Baseball Museum, uh, and this is off of 18th and Vine. And so this is just exactly that. It is a museum celebrating the old Negro Leagues, and Kansas City had probably one of the more successful or, or more well-known teams uh, in the Kansas City Monarchs. So throughout this museum, there's different artifacts from the league. So you've got like gloves from Satchel Paige, jerseys from Jackie Robinson. And you get to learn about all the different teams uh, that were part of the league. There's different like five to 10 minute clips that you can watch that'll show like the conditions and how these guys were treated when they were trying to, were traveling on the road of how they had to go find the hotels that only they could stay in. So it is just an incredible story. Growing up playing baseball, I wore the number 42 for Jackie Robinson. So if you were kind of curious about baseball, Go check out the New York League Baseball Museum. It is just a fabulous, fabulous time there. And um, Bob Kendrick, he is the president there. Like, it's not a guided tour, but he'll take you on a tour. You'll learn so, so much about the game of baseball and the, and the history of it. It's become very popular. It actually started out as just like a little one-room office. Yep. And uh, it grew so fast, they actually moved locations three times because they kept outgrowing their space. And where it's at now is a impressive yeah. uh, display. All right, so number seven on our list, the last thing on our list is the American Jazz Museum. This is located right over by the Negro League Baseball Museum. Mm -hmm. It's in the 18th and Vine Historical District, the Jazz District, if yes, you will. that's right. And um, if there's some historical staples, it's barbecue, it's art, and it's jazz. That's right. A lot of the jazz that we know all over the country, a lot of it has roots here in Kansas City. So the museum really honors that, and they showcase it really well. So not only can you go there and see all about the history of jazz, there's also lots of classes. You can learn how to play jazz instruments, jazz music. They even still have a jazz restaurant there called The Blue Room. <laughs> um, you can go there and have dinner, have cocktails, and listen to some jazz. Yeah, actually, a lot of the big names that you hear that like originated jazz, most of them started here. Even if you hear their names down in New Orleans, which New Orleans is obviously a big place for jazz and, and still is. A lot of them started here and, and migrated down to New Orleans. So Kansas City has 
some unbelievable ties to, to jazz music. One of the most awesome things you can do on a Saturday when it's nice out in Kansas City is go to the 18th and Vine District, go to the Negro League Museum, then go to the Jazz Museum, and then hit up Arthur Bryan's for mm. barbecue. You can smell it as soon as you drive in the area. The barbecue smell is incredible. So make it the whole day out of it. Learn some history of, about Kansas City, about jazz, about baseball, and have some great barbecue too. Well, that wraps it up for some of our must-see things to do in Kansas City. Obviously, there's a ton more to do yep. here. There's even more coming. We'll do a video on that later. If you want to know more, please reach out to us. I'd love to help you search for a home or help you sell your home. My number here is here below. Taylor is the mortgage expert. He will help you with financing, which should be approved, and get you into the house that you need. Yeah, and if there is a place that we left off that you think is a staple of things to do in Kansas City, Go ahead and leave us a comment below. We will be sure to add that to our next video. Awesome. Thanks, guys. See you next time.